How's it going everybody? My name is Connor and today I'm going to show you exactly how to edit a Pokemon ROM. Alright, so there's going to be a couple things that you need. So basically the first thing and the most important thing that you need is the randomizer. And this will all be down in the description below. You can click on the links and it'll take you right to get them, okay? So basically you're going to want to open up that little jar file right there or the, the RAR file, whatever you have. And then open up this randomizer right here. Once this opens, basically, uh, let's click on note. So basically, this will open right here, and you can see not a lot's going on. Uh, nothing's highlighted, nothing going on like that. So you'll click on open ROM, and go to exactly where you have your ROMs saved. So for me, I, I'm created a folder, Pokemon ROMs, fairly easy to find on your desktop. So now you can see I got a couple that I can choose from, and so I've got Emerald, I got Soul Silver, I got Fire Red, and then I got this one called Soul Silver Fixed, which is one that I actually fixed by doing this randomizer. So we're gonna edit this one. Uh, let's let's do Fire Red. So we're gonna edit Pokemon Fire Red just like this, and this is very very cool. I'm gonna walk you through every single one here, uh, what type of things you can do with it, what you can't. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So just uh, pay attention. It's fairly basic and easy to understand. So when you open up this ROM uh, right now, you're going to look at this first page and you got Pokemon traits, you got starters, statistics, trades, or statics, sorry, statics, moves and move sets, trainer Pokemon, wild Pokemon, TM, HM, and tutors, field items, and miscellaneous tweaks. Okay. So let's start on the Pokemon traits here. So this is the base statistics area and this area is basically the one that will, you can have fun with the statistics of the Pokemon. So say you want a game that Pokemon play completely different than they normally do. So say you want like a really, uh, I don't know, especially, especially defensive uh, Alakazam instead of especially uh, offensive, you know what I mean? You can change around that, you can have some fun with the, uh, the base statistics. So right there is Unchanged, uh, which is the default one. You've got shuffle, so it basically uh, randomizes uh, whichever one it is. So, for example, its base attack may be swapped with its base or a special attack, etc. It does not make any Pokemon stronger or weaker. The random one, uh, it pretty much randomizes each Pokemon's stats. Uh, so, basically, the evolutions of Pokemon will follow that Pokemon's stat distribution and it could make any Pokemon stronger or weaker. So this one is really just random, okay? That's that's basically what it is, but it still follows the evolution charts. And then this is completely random, so there is no evolution charts following for the Pokemon, Pokemon base statistics. I mean, a lot of this I am just reading off of here. It's fairly simple to look at. Um, the Pokemon ab abilities, these also gives them random uh, Pokemon types, so this is basically saying if it will be a fire, it will be grass, so y you don't know what type it's going to be. But here's the coolest part, and that the part that I really like to use when I'm playing ROMs on my emulator, alright? So, the Pokemon Evolutions, right here. I've never played with Randomize on, because uh, you don't really know what guy you're going to get. <laughs> so it, it's really it could be a lot of fun. You, say your uh, Charmander is evolving. Who knows? You could evolve into a Blastoise randomly, or or something like that. You know, you don't know what he's gonna get. He could have turned into a Bee Drill. Um, it, it's mostly it, it it just be mostly for fun. It does not follow any evolution charts. But the really cool part is if, if you click that right there, you can choose which one it's gonna do. So if you just leave it checked like that, it does not it it just does not have any uh, rules when evolving. But this one here, similar strength, same typing, limit evolutions to three stages, and force change. Uh, you can pretty much make the ROM that you want from that. You, you can decide how they want to evolve. I don't really use those. The one that I use over here is change in possible evos. And this basically allows you to evolve Pokemon that you normally wouldn't be able to evolve in a, a ROM because of an emulator. So say you want to get... A, uh, a Gengar, right? You want to get a Gengar, but that requires to trade for the Pokemon. Well, no longer do you have to just uh, deal with having a Haunter or somehow spawn in the uh, the Gengar. You can basically just click this and it will evolve at a certain level. Uh, the evolution's easier. It, it basically brings the level of them down. So like a Dragonair, I believe, evolves into a Dragonite at level 55. This will now bring every single third stage evolution 
to below 40 or 45 is it 40 or 45 below 40 so that's very cool that's very cool um the one that i mostly play on when i'm just doing my little my little playthroughs is change impossible evos that way we can get every single pokemon that we wish to get all right the next part is the starters to statics and trades so i i do play around with this one I, i've got one on my phone and i've kind of had some fun so what I'd like to do when I'm playing on my phone or doing whatever, just starting up a brand new one, you do random completely and that just basically, or random completely with basic Pokemon with two evolutions. So it pretty much gives you a three stage evolution Pokemon at the start of your game, but you don't know what's going to be there. Or if you happen to want to customize it completely, you can choose exactly which three Pokemon are going to be there. So say for whatever reason, you want to get Deoxys, uh, let's go Jirachi, Jirachi, and for whatever reason, Rosilia. So there you go. You can have those three guys starting at the start of your game, and you pick them from the Pokeball in Professor Oaks, Elms, whoever Professor is lab. You can just get them like that. You can randomize held starter items, banned bad items, so these are like getting rid of the, um, the berries and the things that you don't really want. You know, mail, all those types of things. So this one right here, Static Pokemon, it basically is just, um, it's messing around with the Pokemon that, you know, you'd see in the wild. So say, or like, you see the Pokemon sitting there. So you know when you go into Cerulean Cave, and you see the Mewtwo sitting at the end of the cave, you went all the way through for the Mewtwo. Well, when you click on that Static Pokemon, if you have this one going, it's going to replace it with a different Legendary. You don't know which Legendary, so you don't know exactly what Pokemon you're going to get. But if you happen to have it at random, as this description will show, let's see if we can get this to light up. Uh, so, selecting this will replace every Static Pokemon encounter, gift, or purchase with another one. In this particular mode, any Pokemon can replace any other Pokemon. So you could get a Mew in the game corner or fight a Magikarp instead of a Mewtwo. So you don't know what you're going to get, which is kind of fun. That could be kind of a fun way to mess around in the game. Uh, I leave that on unchanged. In-game trades. This one I like to do randomize both requested and given Pokemon. Now, the reason for this is because you know when you're going through the game and you see a trade that is you just don't want to make, right? You aren't getting any good Pokemon back for that. Well, if you do this each time you play through, it's going to be different. You don't know which Pokemon that you're getting. So it's kind of cool. Those trades can be kind of fun. You Say you have a Caterpie on your team. It's like, I'll trade you this Caterpie for Alakazam. Why? Who knows? But it could happen, right? Uh, so yeah, that's basically that one. So moves and move sets. This one is all pretty self-explanatory. I mean, this whole, this whole thing is pretty self-explanatory. Just going through just in case some people don't quite understand it or don't quite get something. So randomized move power. That's basically saying I... Uh, if you want your tackle, like it's 50 base power, right, for tackle. So you might want to randomize that up. So you start off with a tackle. Who knows? It could be 10 base power or it could be a base 150. You don't know what it's going to come up with. Same with the accuracy. So each accuracy move is going to be random. Uh, move PP, same thing. And the move type. So tackle could all of a sudden become a fire type. You never know. Playing with those is kind of fun if you just want to do that. Here is probably one of the coolest things that I have come across within this little randomizer. This update moves and legacy. Now, for me, I have not played any Gen 6 games. Uh, I don't own a 3DS, so I am not able to play a Gen 6 game. So, as a result, I don't quite know all the new moves. I don't quite know all, all that type of stuff. So, if you click on update moves, this updates it to Gen 6 right here. Uh... And it updates all the moves, all their power, accuracy, all that type of stuff. It updates it to, to Gen 6. But if you're like me and you don't quite know all the new stuff, all the new moves, all the new effectivenesses, all that, you can click on Legacy Mode and this reverts everything to be updated to Gen 5. Which is very, very, very cool. I, I love doing that. That is probably one of the coolest things they added in. Pokemon move sets. So this could change the whole way the whole Pokemon can play. Uh, you can have random, so prefer the same type. So this is kind of just keeping the same type. So if you're a fire type, you're going to get fire type moves, but you don't know exactly what fire type moves you're going to get in your move set when you learn them. Random can be completely random, so you could have a Charizard learning metronome. Who knows, right? And metronome only mode, where every single Pokemon in the game has metronome as its only move. Fairly, fairly cool. Uh, 
and every Pokemon starts with four move. If you happen to click that, you can click that, and every single guy will start with four moves. So very cool, very, very cool. Trainer Pokemon, this can be good if you're playing the same game through and through and through, and you're getting kind of bored of the same, uh, same dynamic every single time you go through. So basically, you can click on random, uh, and you can pretty much uh, choose which way that they want to uh, to play. So, do you want your rival to carry a starter throughout the whole game? You can click yes or no. Do you want to try to use Pokemon with similar strength? Yes or no. Uh, don't use legendaries. I will have that clicked if I play random. And no early wonder guard. Yeah, pretty much. It's all of your choice. Whatever you want to make with this. Type theme. Excuse me. Type themed. Uh, weight types by number of Pokemon. Basically, this is all self-explanatory. You can randomize whatever you want for these games. Wild Pokemon is kind of fun. So, this is a lot of fun to play with. I actually do play with this one on when I'm just playing around, messing around, whatever. I set this to random. And here's the reason why. It's, it's a lot of fun to just go through the game. And in the patches, you would never know which Pokemon you're going to encounter. You, when you're walking through a cave, every single time you go through a cave, you're like, all right, well, we're going to encounter a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of Zubats and Geodudes, and it's just not going to be fun, right? So with this, you click this to random, and you can decide, or like the game decides which guy you're going to get. Uh, if you don't click, uh, don't use legendaries, you can literally inquire, like run into an Articuno right off the start. But it'll be like a level 3 Articuno. So it's very cool. The levels stay the same throughout the whole way. And it, it also allows to get rid of a bit of that grinding part to the game. You know, where you gotta... Where you're pretty much... um You're struggling to gain the levels to, to meet the gyms. So with the stronger Pokemon you're facing, they offer more experience. And you can level up just a little bit faster. It's, it's kind of fun to do. Uh, area 1 to 1 mapping. So... Each Pokemon will be given an encounter rate and replaced with another Pokemon in every slot that appears in it. Uh, this will make for each area to have a handful of random Pokemon. I mean, if you just hover over these, they do explain exactly what they are. Some of them I'm not, I haven't played with, so I haven't really gotten to test out. But I mean, you can basically look at this and figure out exactly what you want. So, uh, the similar strength would be basically replacing the Pokemon from gen to gen. So. Say you're, you're starting off in Pallet Town and you walk out and you see yourself a Pidgey, right? You get a Pidgey. You're like, great. But you don't always want a Pidgey right off the start. Well, if you do similar Pokemon, similar strength, you might get from, say, Gen 3, a Talo that starts off right at the start. Or you don't know exactly what guy you're going to get, but they're going to be similar strength, which is kind of cool. Uh, so it just messes around with the Gens and it flips them in and out. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. If you don't use legendaries, you won't encounter random legendaries like randomly, which is kind of fun. And you can have minimum catch rate, all that type of stuff. And randomized held items and banned bad items. It's kind of fun because the Pokemon you catch, most of them do come with an item. And you don't know what you're going to get. So it's kind of like Christmas, you know what I mean? TM HM Tutors. Uh, basically the TM moves that you get so you can click to unchanged or random. Uh, and you can just check those off if you wish. It, it's kind of fun. You don't know which TM the gym leaders are going to give you, stuff like that. Um, yeah, this one is basically all self-explanatory just by looking through there. And field items. So these are ones basically that you... So you find a Pokeball on the ground. So you could uh, randomize the items and ban the bad items. So you don't know exactly where the items are going to be. This could make or break your game. Um, where you're supposed to find a certain item finding found somewhere to really help out your game, so it, it may break the game. Uh, I play with Unchanged just because it's a little bit more fun to play Unchanged, in my opinion. Miscellaneous tweaks, so the one that I, I check all the time is Fastest Text. Um, you can do Run and Shoes Indoors if you're playing, like, you know, uh, some older games where they don't let you run inside, which is kind of fun. Uh, you can get the National decks right at the start, and um, can randomize cat just little things to make your game if you're nitpicky about certain things. Uh, I, I hate reading the, the text, how it's coming across so slow, so I like it to appear right away and then disappear because I don't read it, right? Nobody reads it, right? So anyways, that is pretty much all you got to do for, for that. 
Now, basically, if you want to replicate these settings another point, you just click Save Settings. You type in uh, whatever settings you want. So let's go Fire Red Test like that. So we save the settings, and everything we have clicked there will be saved if we want to load it once again, just like that. Uh, and once you're done, once you're done making this, and you want to make your mod or your mod, your your ROM right here, click Randomize Save choose the spot so right here I've got Pokemon ROMs and we got right here subscribe to con man and we're gonna save that ROM right there do you want to save the log file this will tell you exactly what is in the the ROM and uh, we just click done right there the ROM is done and now just for further proof we'll go into open our logs or open our thing right here we'll open up subscribe to con man and let's uh, get this into 1280 just so you guys can see it and sure enough, right there. Fire Red works perfectly. There you go. So guys, if you did enjoy this, please remember to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. If you are a fan of the Pokemon series, uh, I do live streams on them. I also have lots of other content on this channel. So be sure to subscribe, guys, if you would like to see more. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I hope I helped you.